Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakat Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, bracket thumbs to the whole full elect. Shalom, Shalom. Today's video is going to be entitled, They Will Not Roll Out the C Hip Like It's a New iPhone. And, uh, you know, reason we going into it because, uh, obviously, Tazari Quack had to run his mouth and spew false doctrine, which this is nothing new. <laughs> you know, grass is green, the sky is blue, and uh, you Jakes who sold out are going to push false doctrine. This is nothing new. So it's on, upon us, you know, the men of Great Millstone, the, the defenders of the gospel, to uh, set you Jake straight and give you a better understanding of what the true meaning of the mark of the beast is because you people think you know the mark of the beast is just something you're going to have it's going to be like a yay or nay which essentially it is but you think it's just something you'll be able to live without which if the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is not on you you won't be able to you won't be able to live without the sea hip you see, but we're not at the time to where this thing is at the forefront of the world, not just America, but the forefront of the world. You see, the C-HIP is going to be issued under mandate. Well, let's get that. Kind definition of mandate, Google definition, an official order or commission to do something. The authority to carry out a policy or a course of action regarded as given by the electorate candidate uh, you know, I go something else. Merriam Webster said an, a, a authoritative command, a authorization to act given to a representative. You see? So a mandate is is a is a is a wicked decree, as the scripture would say. You see, when you flash back to the two, 2020, there is a mask mandate, which means you couldn't go into the store without the uh, face diaper. You couldn't, uh, you know, go into certain areas, grocery stores, shit, gas stations. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't go to the bar without having your face diaper. You see, right now we are not at the point of mandate. Now, why do you, why do you, why, why do I say that, man? Revelation 13, 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads the same way they cause all to wear a mask to get into walmart same way they they cause all to wear a mask to get gas at fucking quick trip man it was a mandate so going back to the title of the video they will not unroll the c-hip like it's a damn iphone man because when the iphone come out okay they're gonna have a big announcement everybody gonna get excited but guess what? You ain't got to get that shit if you don't want it. And you actually have a way to live without getting the iPhone. There's other options outside of the iPhone. You know, life is not made harder when you don't have the iPhone. But they're going to push it out like it's the latest technology, the next biggest thing. You know, that's how they're going to do with the C-Hip. You know, I got an article we're going to go into. You know, we, we all know the articles that, or I wouldn't call them articles. We all know, we all know the, the propaganda that comes out promoting uh, the C-Hip. They always push convenience. They always push security. They always push safety. Trying to make it seem like an angel of light. This is not how this thing is coming, man. Revelation 12, verse 12. Let's get it. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the heavens of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And when he when he comes with that wrath, he gonna have a sea hip in his hand to offer you, you uh, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans as well, man. You see. So that's that's that, that's why there's so much talk of what is the MOTB because it's not being forced upon you. Now, when the time comes, when they force it upon you, you're going to know GMS was right, man. You see? Now, people say it may be this president that issues it. 
maybe that president that issue issues it being honest it may not be neither neither president because you have to understand when when martial law comes into the effect the military becomes the highest power in government man so it don't it don't it don't it don't matter if Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Robert Robert DeSantis, or Kanye West is fucking president, man. When when, when shit gets real, when the economic collapse happen, happens, you know, when the when 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 the when the shit hits the fan, as they would say, the government can take over and say, you know what, we in control now, nigga. And you know what? That's the last people you want to be in power is the U.S. government. I mean, the U.S. military. That's what I meant. United States military is the most wicked faction <laughs> in the planet Earth. You can see that through its history. Going all the way back to how they how they treated the Gadites, uh North American Indians all the way up to now, man. These people bomb uh uh bomb houses for nothing. Bomb school children. You see? So, do you think he's going to turn into a nice man when the sea hip is is mandated? And, and he has to move. He has to move with fierceness and a quickness because the angels above are making him nervous, man. The angels above are basically showing him that that his time, you know, you have you have a fucking sand clock that that the grains of sand are running empty on his rulership. So his last leg to preserve himself and to pre preserve his quote-unquote society is to push the sea hit man that's why i say it ain't it ain't coming out like no damn iphone man they ain't just gonna do fucking sea hip announcement and whoever wants it you know you can get it now they may do that but guess what eventually the devil horn's gonna come out <laughs> you know uh you know we starting to <laughs> we starting to coin coin this quote you know regarding the chariots you know eventually the chariots gonna turn violent. Well, guess what? Eventually, the so-called white man gonna turn violent, man. Scriptures told you that they gonna start chopping heads off if you ain't got the mark. How many heads is being chopped off if you don't if you don't uh what it say follow American society or follow Christianity? How many heads is getting chopped off for fucking white women? Answer answer me that, man. Cause the the, the, the way society going, hey, you up you up if you get you a fucking white castle, man. So, so you have to, uh, you have to have a good understanding of what the scriptures say, and and a good understanding of of the way uh, of the way the so-called white man operates to to understand the revelation of the revelation thirteen and sixteen. I know I said understand a lot in that <laughs> in that sentence, but it's, it's it's what it's all about. That's why the prophets here on the planet Earth. We're here to tell you what the sea hip is. We're here to tell you what the chariots are. And we're here to tell you that Yahweh Shah is coming to get you, man. Now, let's jump into this article. I know I've been speaking a lot. I know I've been uh, kind of making my videos a little bit longer. I try to keep them around 10 minutes, but hey, man, it is what it is. This is uh, in Engadget.com. Sea hip implants get under your skin so you can leave your keys at home. Mmm published august 11th software engineer Mayana wendell has about 25 implants under her skin ranging from magnets to rfid tech while that might make your skin crawl if you're squeamish for the most part they are not really noticeable she told in gadget at the defcon security conference you gotta go into that defcon security conference on thursday wendell talked about how she became interested in implants and her experience programming them for personal use like scanning into her former office building rfid tech powers scannable technology like subway cards or tap to pay you see all you niggas want to get on the fucking m on the on the uh on the mta in new york all you niggas want to get in your uh big high-rise office buildings you know, tap to pay. We already know that's that's everywhere. They're going to make it convenient for you. Say the first relatively simple tech was first patented in the 1970s. See, the C had been around since the 70s. That's why we say, you know, well, that's why Apostle Hart say he, he, he been new about this thing, man. We didn't learn this shit from Alex Jones. 
This technology been in in in, uh, in the earth for over 50 years. It said the first relatively simple tech was first patented in the 1970s and body modification dates back millennia. Despite this, RFID implants still haven't reached their full potential. And they're still a gimmick for a lot of people. <laughs> Wendall said, but if you want to go clubbing and not bring a bag, you can buy the right style of lock and implant a sensor that you can't lose to scan in and out of your home. <laughs> now, you know, the average person, average person don't need this shit, man. Same way the average person don't need an iPhone. Why? Because they old technology work. You know, the, the fucking key to my house works just fine. The key to my car works just fine. My debit card works just fine. My tap to pay on my phone works just fine, man. But that's not what the so-called white man wants. That's not what the devil wants, man. He wants utter control. It says still they're not magic. C-hip implants don't work like Hollywood movies, founder of biohacking and implant service, Dangerous Things. And everybody should know about Dangerous Things if you know the truth. You know, if you don't, if you don't know about Dangerous Things, go to DangerousThings.com and uh, find out for yourself, man. It said they're not even active or alive or energized when there's no reader. It's, it's, come on, man. It said the means, the scope of use for the rfid implants is pretty limited and it's mostly foundational tech that you have you'd have to be able to hack yourself for it to be useful there are limited out of the box use cases like tesla key card that lets you start your car but usually a user has to be able to copy certain key configurations onto himself and they're going to bring that out with the c-hip they have the uh people that are able to uh program these things for your body let's scroll down it says companies are now looking for ways to use rfid implants as security tools there is inherent vulnerability associated with rfid tech because it requires access credentials to be open to be open to being stolen but having those credentials as an implant at least prevent someone from easily stealing your access card or information so you know there could be a time where they they require they require uh you know these businesses require their employees to get there we already know about that three square market in, in wisconsin you see but it says rfid implants do not require fda approval fda approved because they are not medical devices while they appear generally safe and secure, there are risk factors. See, they don't they don't mention what it says in Revelation. You're gonna get that sore, which is really a cancer. But I brought that article out just to show you that these things are around. The technology exists. These are being talked about, man. But guess what? As the title of the video is, it ain't it ain't gonna be rolled out like an iPhone, man. It's gonna it's, it's gonna come with some force behind it. It's gonna come with a sword behind it, man. But with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakak Kadash, double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, Tro, Falak, Shalom, Shalom.